Hey friends, welcome to episode number five of the Myths of Christmas. Today's myth, on the calendar you have BC and AD, and so that means Jesus was born in the year zero. Well, not quite, because there's no year zero. It wasn't until the 6th century that Dionysius invented this particular calendar system that began to make these designations common. And then it wasn't even widely used until after the year 800. BC, of course, is an English abbreviation for before Christ, and therefore that leads some to often wrongly conclude that AD means after death, i.e. after the death of Jesus. But this would mean that there is a 32 or 33 year gap in between those designations, which of course doesn't make sense. Well, that's because AD is a Latin abbreviation for Anno Domini, meaning in the year of the Lord. So what does this mean for the year of Jesus' birth? Well, there's several different approaches that are normally used by historians and scholars, but a common way is done by looking at the events recorded in the Gospels and lining them up with what other ancient historians who recorded the same events say and putting them together. Now, this would put the birth of Jesus sometime between 4 BC and 6 BC. And one of the big events that helps with that is the date of the death of Herod. According to Matthew chapter 2, verse 1, Jesus was born during the days of Herod the king. Now, most historians would place Herod's death in 4 BC. Now, remember the story. After learning that Israel's king had been born from uh, the Magi who had come from the east, Herod ordered all the young children, two years old and under, in Bethlehem to be killed. And so that's when Mary and Joseph and Jesus fled to Egypt after being warned in a dream by an angel. And so Matthew then says in Matthew chapter 2, verse 15, that they remained in Egypt until the death of Herod. So if Herod's death was in 4 BC, as historians and scholars tend to agree upon, Jesus must have been born at some point before that. So the year zero doesn't exist, and that has nothing to do with the birth of Jesus. Now, what I do want to highlight, though, is something interesting about the modern calendar system with its BC and its AD, and even more in the recent trend of BCE and CE, before the Common Era and the Common Era. And that's the fact that time is divided into two distinct ages surrounded by uh, a unique event. This isn't altogether foreign to the Jewish people and to the biblical authors because they too divide history into two distinct ages, this age and the age to come. And the dividing line between this age and the age to come is a day that the prophets and Jesus and the apostles continually speak about called the day of the Lord. This is still a future reality because the day of the Lord is going to bring about a number of things according to the scriptures. The return of Jesus, the restoration of the nation of Israel, the undoing of the curse of death, the resurrection of the dead, the defeat of God's enemies, the wiping away of tears, no more sorrow or crying or pain, and the list goes on. And that means that in the mind of the biblical authors, there was no end of time, nor did they think that when they died, they were going to go to a timeless, ethereal place called heaven where they would float on a cloud and play a harp forever. A lot of that is commonly influenced by Plato and Greek philosophical thinking here in the West. Now, what does all of that have to do with Christmas? Well, Jesus was born, he lived, he died, and he was raised. And as the Apostle Paul would go on and write to the Galatians, he gave himself for our sins to deliver us from this present evil age. And that's why we ought to be stirred with hope and joy as we ponder the events of Jesus' first coming. Because it means that God's going to be faithful to do everything that he's promised. And so for those of us who have faith in him, he really will raise us from the grave to eternal life here on this very earth where the nations will flourish under the leadership of Jesus of Nazareth the King of Israel. And this is why it has to do with Christmas. Well, there's much more to come and much more on these subjects here on my YouTube channel. So subscribe if you haven't and hit that like button down below and share this video with your friends. God bless and I'll see you in the next one.